Hi, I'm Rita Wilkins, also known as the Downsizing Designer. So if you're considering downsizing, this video is intended to help you weigh the pros and the cons before you make such a big decision. As the Downsizing Designer, I am often asked if there are downsides to downsizing. And the, sh <clears throat> the short answer is there may or may not be um, reasons for you to downsize. And the longer answer is that there are far more pluses than minuses if you want to live a simpler and happier life. But the choice depends on you and the lifestyle that you want. So many of you might know from my book and from my TED, TED Talk um, that I downsized from a 5,000 square foot home to an 867 square foot apartment in Center City, Philadelphia. When I downsized, I chose to give away 95% of my possessions to those who needed it or wanted it. And frankly, um, I've never looked back and I've never been happier. <clears throat> but it's not for everyone. If you're thinking about it, it's important to weigh both the pros and the cons. So here are a few of the downsides to downsizing. <clears throat> downsizing is an emotional journey. As a matter of fact, um, it's one of the main reasons that many people decide to stay in their home or age in place. Um, they might be reluctant to face the emotions of saying goodbye to the home that they raised their children in, the neighbors, the community. Um, but they might also be hesitant to let go of their physical possessions, um, those things that <clears throat> and they've become attached to and can't imagine living without. And many are afraid to let go of the sentimental items in, in fear of the fact that letting go of them, they might also lose the memories that they associate with them. <clears throat> so on one hand, um, you might want to downsize and live a less complicated, less cluttered life, but the emotional aspect of downsizing might stop you and prevent you from, from doing so. Certainly something that you would need to face um, if you choose to downsize. But on the other hand, <clears throat> you visualize a new lifestyle um, where you have more freedom, more flexibility, more mobility, and yes, maybe some less responsibility because once you are an empty nester, there's an opportunity for you to create a whole new life. The second downside to downsizing is that downsizing takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. It can take anywhere between three to six months, depending on how much stuff that you have and how dedicated you are to the process of decluttering and downsizing. Many people get excited at the beginning, um, but then, you know, throughout the process, because it is overwhelming, um, they get discouraged and they get overwhelmed. And by the, by the size of that project, and when they get discouraged, they then oftentimes give up. So the reality of downsizing is that when you, when <clears throat> that you do need a plan, um, because that will help you get stay focused and also stay on task. Without a plan, you might make excuses, procrastinate, and never finish what you started. Number three, downsizing does require many decisions. One of the most talked about cons of downsizing and decluttering process is decision fatigue. So there are many, many, many decisions to make if you're wanting to live life with less. You know, you ask what furniture to bring, what furniture fits, what doesn't fit. <clears throat> Just day after day, um, you're confronted with many, many decisions, and that can create what's called decision fatigue. And having an Understanding of why you want to downsize certainly helps because it helps keep that vision alive of life after downsizing. This helps you keep going even when you feel like quitting. Number four is when you downsize, <clears throat> you will have less space and less stuff, hopefully. So less space means um, less stuff, which if you have difficulty parting with your things, this could create a problem. Um, for sure, holding on is easier than letting go. So if you decide to downsize, you need to decide, <clears throat> decide to decide. You need to, you need to develop a very strong letting go muscle and a letting go mindset. 
um, after a period of time, letting the letting go muscle does get stronger because you learn to make quicker and more deliberate decisions. And again, remind yourself of the vision of life after um, <clears throat> decluttering and after downsizing because this keeping this image um, firmly in your mind will help you keep going. So a word of caution though, be clear about the size of the smaller um, space that you're going to be moving to, whether it's a house, an apartment, a cottage. Um, when you want to move, each um, item does have to find a home. And so you don't have to know the exact home or the exact location. Um, if you, um, if, <clears throat> but if you know, for example, that you're moving from a four bedroom home to a two bedroom home, it becomes obvious that you only need two beds. Um, so uh, often people make the mistake of bringing way too much stuff. Um, and then they have to double downsize, which is not only time consuming and exasperating, but it's also expensive. Um, so, and also note that you'll likely have less storage in your new smaller home. So for sure, you're going to have to declutter first. And number five is downsizing can be expensive. So moving entails numerous layers of expense, um, that's associated with downsizing and that may deter some people, um, and make them actually decide to stay because it's so expensive. Um, and of course, depending on the housing market it, it, and, it, and the financial market, it does change. Um, so consider things like labor to help you pack, materials to pack, labor to help you move, the truck and so forth, realtors, closing costs um, <clears throat> of both the old and the new home, um, taxes and other related expenses like homeowner um, <clears throat> HOAs. So while there are many upsides to downsizing, there's also downsides. So it's important to weigh both so that you can discover which is the right decision for you. I hope this helps. And please like and, and, and subscribe to my, um, my, to my YouTube channel. Thanks.